Hey guys, how's it going? So you asked me to show you guys how I make magnets and I promised you guys a video, so here we are. Uh, I am in the dining room for a change. Um, and so I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I have and that way you guys can figure out, um, you know, you can go on my Amazon shops uh, and I have everything listed under magnet slash coasters. So what you want to get is this diamond glaze. It's kind of, it's like a glue. It is a glue. Um, so you need this diamond glaze uh, and you need these little guys here. Now these are pronounced cabochons. I, I don't know. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, so be it. I don't need... Um, a lesson on how you pronounce them, but um, they will be listed in the Amazon shops below and the links below. Um, Cabochon, Cabochon, something like that. Juno, come here. He wants to go outside. Um, so yeah, these ones here in particular are 25 millimeter, which are one inch. You can go smaller. I have one small one here this teeny one. This one is um, 18. So you can see the difference between 18 and the one inch. And then there's also 30 inch too. Um, so you can go 30 if you like. And then I have magnets. So the magnets, boy, I tell you, Lucas had a blast playing with these things. They're so hilarious. Who needs to buy toys when you can buy magnets, right? So the ones I have in particular um, have this 3M adhesive side. You don't have to get this. Um, they, there's magnets that come just plain, both sides. Um, but I personally like the 3M one because it's got the adhesive on this side. Can you guys hear them? Juno, come here. Juno, come. He, there's something out there must be a squirrel or something outside and he wants to go out so I like this because you just peel this off stick the um, this on it and you're good to go no glue no nothing so these are also listed in my Amazon shop links hey what's up bud he's here let me show you guys hi do you know <laughs> what's up What's up? You want to go outside? Juno, you want to go outside? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Little Juno clip in the middle of a video. <laughs> All right, so I've done a few already. I'll show you. Um, but look at this. So this one, I've done them. I've stuck the magnet on the back. And they're pretty neat. So they're... They're really, really, really strong magnets too. So I will show you real quick. So what I did was I left a few already. Let me show you guys. So these are all my skins that I've peeled off my low leave Effie mat. Um, let's see here, right here, low leave Effie. So for those of you guys who have the mat already, you're gonna probably already know and love how easy it is to peel skins off. So these are all skins that I have. Guys, I gotta let them out. Sorry, one sec. All right, come on. Go on. Here you go. Sorry about that. All right, so, um, you know, the skins peel off super easily and you get some really wicked skins from this awesome low leave FU mat. If you don't have the mat, I have the link listed below. Um, you can click on the link, you can order the jumbo or the mega mat and you can use code CANELA5 um, and you save five bucks. So this mat is super wicked for this kind of stuff. Um, so I'll show you what I've done. Uh, let me take, so here, let's start with, I'll show you guys how I glue this stuff on. So what you want to do is you take a skin and you find a spot on the skin that you think is really, really cool. And so 
you figure, well, this spot right here looks pretty neat. See how it shimmers? So you're like, okay, well, I, I want to put it right there. So that's where we're going to put it. Or I can just try it here on a smaller piece because it's easier to hold. And I'll show you guys. Ding, someone's messaging me. So basically, I don't know if you have to shake this or not. I don't think you do, but basically just take the top off. You're going to have to cut the tip off a little bit. Um, so what you want to do is now you only need a little bit. You don't need much. Like, honestly, you don't need a lot. So I'm going to put just that much. Can you see that? That's it. You don't need much because, actually I'm gonna do it on this nice green one. No, I'm gonna do black. See how indecisive I am? So that's all you need, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna find a nice spot that I wanna do it on and I'm just gonna put it down and I'm just gonna push it down a bit. If you put too much, it'll seep out from the sides, which isn't wrong. However, I'll show you and this stuff dries pretty quick, let me tell you. So I've put it down. And you can see here, it's pretty much sticking pretty quick. So um, I try not to put too much because I don't want the glue to seep out around the sides. So once you do that, and they're all dry. So here, let me show you a dried one. So this, this guy's dry and there's no um, glue that has seeped out around the edges. So what I do is I take a pair of scissors and I find these really small type of scissors and as opposed to the big ones are a lot easier to use or you can use um, one of those, um, you know, X-Acto knives or whatever. But I find scissors are a heck of a lot easier. So I'm gonna try and do this where you can see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. So basically I just do little little snips all the way around. Now, if you have a part where the glue has seeped out of the side, it gets a little, it's hard. So you're kind of having to cut through the actual glue. And sometimes it's hard to determine what part is the glue and what part is the actual glass top part. So that's why it's best if you can try and avoid getting the glue from seeping out of the sides. But you can still cut around it, it's not the end of the world. It just makes life a heck of a lot easier when you don't have to. So there you go, oh gosh, I've cut around it, right? So that's what the back looks like. So easy peasy, let me do one more. Let me find, I just did that one. These guys are really cool, look at these. So that's gonna be really neat. Um, so anywho, what you wanna do also is just cut around so that you can hold it easier, right? I'm just gonna cut around this. Okay. So here's what I've got. It kinda looks like a cow. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just cut around it. I'm trying to do that where you guys can actually see what I'm doing. All right, now this skin is a thick skin because um, I did it, there's two layers on it. I did it on a big six by six inch tile. Um, and when I didn't like the first coat I did, I put a second coat on top. So that's why this one's really thick, but it still works. So, there we go. There we go. So there you have it. Let me see if focus, see? So, and there's the back, all right. Now these magnets, I must, I must uh, say, um, I saw my awesome friend Molly from Molly's Artistry um, do it. And then she did a video last week um, showing how to make them. And I looked at that and I said, oh my gosh, I have to try that. And so these are so much fun. So then, um, what you need to do after you've glued it, cut it around. So now you have all these pieces, like this is one of my favorite pieces, look at that. And you'll find that once you put this clear one on top of the skin, it actually magnifies it and like really makes the color pop. So it's pretty cool. 
So then what you do is grab a magnet and you peel off the sticker. Come on. Uh, okay, peel off the sticker and very carefully because you don't wanna mess it up because if you mess it up, it's gonna be real hard to pull it off after. So you don't wanna mess that up. Here, let me do a green one. We'll do a green one. So you wanna make sure you really put it on, you know, maybe look at it from the bottom and make sure it is perfect all the way around and then just give it a good squeeze and voila, done like dinner. So this is why I like the ones with the 3M adhesive on the back because if you don't have that one, you could still, you would use this, again, another few drops and then stick your cabochon, cobochon, whatever, the white thing, the clear thing <laughs> on top. But the only problem is if you put too much and it seeps out of the sides, then you gotta sit there and clean it off and it might leave a residue or like a mark, you know, like, like crazy glue would, right? So I personally like these ones. They're a little bit, not very much, but a little bit more expensive than just regular ones. But I think for myself, I'd rather pay a little bit more money and have, and it's so easy, right? No fuss, no muss, you just peel off you know, the little sticker and you're done. There's no glue, not, nothing like that. Here, I'll do this one, one more. Let me change hands. So I'm gonna make sure it all lines up before I squeeze it together and it's perfect all the way around and then I'm gonna give it a nice little squeeze all the way around and there you go. Look how cool that is. Look at it shine. Ooh, that's really cool. So yeah, so thanks Molly for the awesome um, idea and showing us, or me, and the rest of your viewers how to do it. And for those of you um, who are watching my video, um, this is how it's done. So I've had a lot of people asking me to show a video. So there you have it, guys. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Like I said, everything... Um, is listed in the description below. If you don't know what the description is, um, it's that little upside down triangle. If you're watching from your iPhone or your tablet or your phone, it's an upside down triangle right under the video. Click on that, it'll expand the description and all the links are down there. Everything is down there. So you've got the Amazon shops, you'll find all the magnets, these, you know, the diamond glaze is in there as well. Everything's in there. Um, and then, yeah, have fun. And don't forget, if you don't have the low leave effie mat, check out the link below as well, lowleaveffie.com. Hit code Canela5, save five bucks. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments below. I will answer your questions. Um, so yeah, if there's any questions, let me know. Um, and that's it. I have all my social media links below as well in the description. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Ha! It's so strong. Look at this. It went through my hands. That is insane. Look at that. That's how strong these are, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, so follow. <laughs> this is why my son was having so much fun with these. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, follow me on social media. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and hit that notification bell. Um, and for anyone who would like to donate to my PayPal link, um, that would be greatly appreciated. The link is also below. It helps me buy supplies and do tutorials for you guys. So, I think that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, but yeah, so like, I mean, these are pretty cool and you don't even need that many skins. I've already done 24, no more. I've done 40, 40 of these and I still have all these skins left. So you can make a ton guys. It's, it's crazy. And they make great little Christmas gifts or use them on your own fridge. Give them to your parents, to your in-laws, to your brothers and sisters. But 
yeah, they're really, really cool. So yeah, that's it. I'm done rambling. Uh, let's go see what Juno's up to for those of you who want to see him a little more. I'm going to take you guys out and see what that little ham is up to. All right, walk through the kitchen. Oh, he's chewing on his bone. Let's see what he's up to. Hi, Juno. He's like, oh my God, don't touch my bone. Oh, wait. I'm like, what is that? There we go. Sorry, autofocus. And we've got the garbage truck coming by. Can I have it? Oh, thank you. Wow, you really did a number on that, didn't ya? Do you? Juno, you say hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and this little, little short clip of this little monkey chilling out in the backyard enjoying the october fall breeze so thanks again for watching guys really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great night or a great day and i'll see you guys soon take care bye